Hello and welcome to Web Dorado video channel. After watching the video, please share your thoughts in the comment section. And if you have any issues with any of our products, do not hesitate to let us know at info at web-dorado.com. In this video, we'll talk about changing and modifying slider settings. So to get to it, go to slider WD, sliders, and then click on the created slider and go to the settings tab. We're in global right now. There's going to be others and we're going to talk about all of them. So in global, the first one that you see is the dimensions and it is set to 800 by 300 pixels. Since with smaller displays, the slider will be displayed in smaller dimensions due to the responsiveness feature. This will be the constant dimension regardless of the images. Full width. If I select yes, my slider will stretch to the full width of the page. By default, no is selected, which means the length will be given corresponding to the original ratio based on the dimensions of your slider. You can change the ratio manually by deleting the provided number and replacing it with a different value right here. But let me just say yes and show you what actually happens. Okay, I'm going to click apply to save. I'm going to go to my slider and refresh. And my slider, as you can see, is stretched all the way from one end to the other. Okay, background fit. As you can see, there are three options for inserting the images into your slide. Cover, fill, and contain. If your image dimensions are the same as the slider dimension, all three options will provide the same look by covering your slide completely. However, if you have different sized images, cover option will enlarge your image to fit the entire background. And we had that all the time, but let me just save this and show it to you. All right, I'm going to refresh here. And this is what cover option looks like. Okay, with fill option, you will have your images either stretched or compressed depending on their size with respect to the dimensions of your slide. So let me click on fill and then click on apply. And let's look at that right now. Okay, as you can see, my background image got compressed a little bit because my video layer is not in the middle of the phone that it used to be. Okay, so that's that. And with contain option, your image will stay in its original form and the rest of the slider content area will simply show the slider background color. With the align option, you can align your slider to either left, right, or to the center. If your theme content area width is small, you may not be able to see the option at work. Also, if the dimension is set to 800 by 300 pixels, which is the maximum size for use with responsiveness feature, you will not see any difference while trying to align your slide to any direction. So. In order for it to work, we have to make it a bit smaller. So I'm going to make it 500 by 200 pixels. Okay, I'm going to apply and you'll see that it just got smaller, but it's in the middle of my web page. Okay, so I am going to say align to left, for example, apply. And just when I refresh, pay attention that my slider is going to move right under the word slider. And as you can see, it's right here. And then, of course, I can move it to, to the right as well. But I'm going to keep it in the center and going to come back to my original dimensions here for the slider. And I'm going to save that way. Effects. The effects here in global settings relates to your slider effects and does not change or modify your layer effects. This is for shifting your slides from one to another with a certain effect. Okay, there are many to choose from. I am going to go with cube vertical. Effects duration. How long do you want it to actually play? With autoplay, you select your slides to play automatically or not. If you click yes, it automatically will start. Otherwise, click no and apply. All right, time interval. Here you will specify how how long each of your slides will show before changing to next one. I gave it 10 seconds. Stop on hover, yes or no. Shuffle. With shuffle, you choose whether to have slides change in random manner or keep the original sequence. With no, the original sequence will play. Okay, start with slide. With this, you can specify the number from which slide do you want your slider to start playing. And you can choose zero here. You can give it a zero value if you want it to be random. Okay, music. If you want music, click on yes and you can give it a URL or you can add your music by uploading it from your computer and just pay attention that it has to be one of these supported formats. 
okay i don't want music i'm going to click no smart load if you choose to have smart load then you will enable faster loading time for your first few images while processing the rest meanwhile you can have a border for your slider i chose a border i chose a solid border and i gave it the color black you can choose any color you'd like border radius you can give it a border radius of course with a css type value which means give it any value and put px next to it margin shadow and of course shadow has to be inserted exactly the way it's shown here right click protection if you click yes and select it no one will be able to download your images with a right click layer out on next yes or no now this is important i'd like to show it to you if you select yes here when you click on your slider to jump to next slide the layer effect on your slide will complete its action and only then will it jump to next slide but if you select no you won't have to wait for the effect to play out so no is selected what does that mean let me just try to show it to you here on this layer here i have this action you see where it says look at me and it it comes in it plays an effect and then i click it goes all right so if i click right now it does not wait for this whole layer effect to play out when i click on the next slide okay but if i come back here and select yes and save it okay i'm gonna refresh here so we can see now uh, pay attention on that look at me uh, text right here i click and it plays out the effect do you see it look at this i click next plays out the effect and then only takes me to the next layer okay so i'm gonna click no on this one I'll turn slider wd media upload yes or no if you remember we had touched upon this one previously when we were adding images by default slider wd is set for adding images which if you remember enables you to choose and upload multiple images but if you for some reason like to use wordpress media upload option then by all means go ahead select no here and take care of your business that way let me save this and let's go to the carousel carousel is a certain kind of view option you can activate to this display your images if you activate this feature the effects you had chosen in global settings for your slider will not play so here we'll define the number of the images we have on our slider three well first of all i'm going to select yes so that we can play it image ratio will define the proportions between the main image and images preceding and following the main image container fit with container fit option selected the distance between the images will be identical so that the images fill the container otherwise the distance between the images will depend on the ratio and what does that mean well actually to show the character better what I want to do is I want to go back to my slider global settings okay and I'm gonna select full width here and I'm gonna apply that way I can show the carousel the whole effect and beauty of it a lot better I'm going to select container fit okay with container fit once I change from one slide to another it fits images all the way inside the container but if I say no and apply what I'm going to see here is that the images do not fill the container all the way and of course the fixed width will define with that the maximum width of the carousel that's being displayed all right so having saved this i'm going to go back and talk to you about navigation now in this section of our settings we can change the style colors and dimensions of the navigation buttons or we can remove them altogether. next and previous buttons yes or no show navigation buttons on hover or all the time i'm just gonna go with always image for next previous buttons okay we have three options here default which gives a group of different buttons here okay you can select any which one and also you can select their color as well okay i'm not gonna do that i will let you play around with that custom you can of course have your own buttons created and upload them here particular button image uh, and then upload that image and then you have styled with styled you have angled chevron and double that you can choose from i'm gonna leave it at styled you can have a different size of it of course by specifying a certain value play pause button do you want it or not i'm gonna click yes and of course i can select exactly the same way i can go to default and i can select from the group here and also give it a color as with the previous one 
I can do custom as with the previous one. I can upload my uh, own buttons and I can just leave it on styled, give it certain size and color, of course, probably a bright color, maybe green, so it's visible. We can have a hover color, of course, and we can make it a lighter green color. Okay, not to forget, when you choose any one of these groups or, or if you import your own buttons, you have this reverse uh, button here, which does reverse, if you pay attention here, it does reverse your hover color, okay? That also one thing to keep in mind if you would like to do it that way. Border, you can give it a border. You can choose its style width and color border radius and also background color it can also have a background color if you'd like i'm gonna save this let's look at it okay if i go to my page click on refresh and here are my buttons here is my play pause button i click on play it will play i click on pause it will pause and you can see it from the timer bar and we'll talk about the timer bar in a little bit. All right, so in addition to navigation buttons, you can also use bullets as set by default. Upon clicking the bullet, the image in the corresponding position will be displayed. You can further modify your bullets in this section, just like with navigation and play pause buttons. So it's activated position. You can choose its position, top or bottom. Okay, bottom's fine for me. Image for bullets. Again, as I said, you can choose from uh, just in the previous section from a certain group and a color um, you can do your custom buttons and you can leave it at styled and select something from here let's say I'm gonna say circle and that's fine the size of it 20 pixels for me is fine color we can do green again I guess active color here is the one that is currently displaying the corresponding image I'm gonna choose an active color here let's say canary greenish yellow color no problem and with margin you can specify how far apart do you want your buttons to be let's say five pixels fine and I'm gonna click on save to apply to save actually let's look at it right now so my buttons are right here and this is my active button now this is my active button and now this is my active button okay that's that next is film strip and this is yet another very cool feature you can activate and i will do so to demonstrate how it works okay i'm going to activate my film strip and without changing anything here i'm simply going to apply so that we can see the film strip and here's my film strip okay all the way and if i click it changes I click it changes we can make this look a lot better and we'll try to do that right now so we go back to our fill strip and we'll we'll give it some values all right so we could specify it to be on the top bottom or say left okay tops fine for me you give it certain dimensions that you like for your slider you can choose your background color for the film strip I will make grayish color I guess and that should look good thumbnail margin i'll give it a one pixel active border the thumbnail that is currently displaying the image will have a border and with the active transparency you can set a transparency level for the images that are inactive in your film strip so i'll give it maybe 65 percent i'll click on the apply to save why don't we look at it right now let me refresh okay so yeah i gave it a grayish color for the background there is one pixel margin in between the images and also my active image has a black border if you can see that uh, you can play around and it could look exactly the way you like it by changing and playing around with the options in the film strip all right so next what we have is the timer bar and you saw the timer bar already it is enabled you can select to have it in on top, bottom, left, right, uh, circle, bottom, circle, bottom, right. Okay, whichever one you like. You can give it some size. I'll make it uh, a bit bigger this time. And this is the color bar, color. And uh, I'll make it the pretty much the same green as we had. All right, 50% transparency should be fine. I'm going to apply and let's look at that. I'm going to refresh and if I start playing, this is my timer bar right here, okay? You can choose to have it any color that you like. Next is watermark. Again, we had spoken about this before, but let me go through it one more time. You can select to have text 
or image and if you select text you can specify a custom text here you can give it some size select your fonts from here give it some color and transparency and specify a location okay and also you can do the same thing with the image add your specific image for the watermark transparency level in percentage and of course the location and if you like it that way click on apply and save and finally you can add custom css in the box below to apply custom changes to the slider the changes will override the original styles so this concludes the slider wd tutorial like us if you think the videos are helpful and do not forget to share with your friends please also you can subscribe to our channel and follow us on social networks and i wish you a marvelous marvelous day